Leclerc, who's putting up a good fight against his former teammate, Vettel, is ahead of Leclerc. But it's Valtteri Bottas who leads us from Lando Norris, who's gotten a very good start as well. And as they head on through, Mazepin getting a good start as well. And that is Fernando Alonso slewing into the barrier and has lost his front wing, as well as Yuki Tsunoda, who he has hit as well. And Fernando Alonso out already. Let's see what happened to Fernando Alonso. He tried to overtake us and loses it in a straight line because he's on those slick tires. And there is absolutely no grip on this first lap. And as I said before, anything can happen and anything did happen. As you can see, oh, so unfortunate. It was Pierre Gasly, not Yuki Tsunoda. I formerly thought it was Yuki Tsunoda, but as you can see there, just no grip. And Max Verstappen just can't get past Fernando Alonso. But Alonso's going to go for a move on us wheel to wheel. And we've touched and we are set spinning. And we are off and into the barriers. Max Verstappen carries on. And uh, I think Alonso is out of the race. And yes, he is. And we are into the barriers. But we kept the engine running. Let's see the replay. As you can see, Alonso there. We expected him to back out. He didn't back out. And that was 100% our fault as we just turned in. But we expected him to back out because usually the AI do at that corner. But unfortunately for us, he did not. But I'm not saying that it wasn't our fault. It was certainly our fault. But Fernando Alonso comes off worse. As you can see there, his wheel sheared off. And into the center asses. We go wheel to wheel with Giovinazzi. But we stay ahead of Giovinazzi, our teammate. Nikita Mazepin trying to get past Nicholas Latifi, but he just can't. Down the straight now, he will have some stream ball. And that out of the race, Daniel Ricardo. He has hit the barrier, it looks like. Here's the onboard, what has happened? Has he just aquaplane? Yes, he has, he's hit the wall. Also hit the Alpine of Esteban Ocon, and that's a hefty whack. And that's the second Alpine that's made contact in this race. Ocon, though, is not out of the race, unlike his teammate. This will be a battle out of the pits. We are on the inside and wheel to wheel. We make a little bit of contact and even more contact. Oh no, and we've spun it around. We have spun it and another car has come through and Charles Leclerc is out of the race. The Monegasque driver out on lap six and that was a big crash. Let's see what happened from the onboard of us. Made some contact there. We keep losing the rear and we just, uh, we got on the throttle way too early and a little bit too much. And we have spun around into the wall. And Charles Leclerc, wrong place, wrong time. Charles Leclerc, oh man. And this incident, as we see it again from the offboard, has brought out a safety car, a full safety car. So we ha will have another restart. Leclerc is not pointing towards Verstappen. Is he not expecting Verstappen to get a very good start? And it's lights out and away we go. Verstappen gets an excellent start. He will be ahead of Leclerc into turn one. They're all swarming behind. We are in the middle of the pack and towards turn one. We've got yellow flags and there's the crash. And it is Kimi Raikkonen out of the race. And that's a big crash. And that looked like Esteban Ocon flying in and Nikita Mazepin also involved. Let's see the onboard from Raikkonen just gets way too late on the brakes and uh, straight into the back of a few cars. And this is our onboard. As you can see, we tried to avoid but in doing so, caused us to go into the side of Esteban Ocon there. And Ocon turned towards the other drivers and completely bashed into them. Also involved is Pierre Gasly starting eighth. And uh, that's just so unfortunate for Gasly. As you can see, he lost his entire front wing. And this is key for the world championship. Oh, we've lost it a little bit on the exit. And Gasly is a bit closer and he dives in up the inside. We've made contact. Our star, that's Yuki Sonoda. Gasly's out of the race and we have hit the barrier. And Sonoda is stopping by the side of the track there. Oh dear, that's a big crash. And Sonoda up into the air. And Kimi Raikkonen has lost his front wing as well. And he doesn't pit. We come into the pits and Raikkonen will have a long road back to the pit lane with that front wing damage. And Sonoda has flown through the air. And we come in for a set of medium compound tires, hopefully to the end of the Grand Prix and a new change of nose. Let's see the replay. As you can see, we lost the rear end a little bit. That gave Gasly 
Some other contents to drive up the inside. We did make a little bit of contact there, and once we got onto that gravel, we uh, we kept our foot in there, which was not the smartest idea. And you can see there, Raikkonen going right under Yuki Sonoda's car. Here's the replay in slow motion, and that is a spectacular collision as Raikkonen under uh, Yuki Sonoda. Here's the onboard from Sonoda. As you will see, he will get absolutely plowed from behind, and there he goes, up into the air. And uh, luckily to not flip there, as you can see the height that Yuki Sonoda got. And that is a shocking crash, as you can see from the helmet cam of... And we have had great battles with Alfa Romeo's. This race down the inside we go, but we've outbroke ourselves. And we go flying over the curbs. And I think that Giovinazzi will get past us, and indeed he does. As we make contact with him, contact there. And Nikita is going to go down the inside. Oh, that's a massive crash. And Akita Mazepin is out. And he has been hit once again by more contact and more and more. And I think that's Lando Norris who is also out. And a big crash on lap 13. There's the contact between myself and Giovinazzi. And that is me spinning around that second barrier. Really saves us from big impact into the barrier. Here's Nikita Zou. He tries a half-hearted move down the inside. No space there. And straight into the barriers and as you can see here he gets hit uh, multiple multiple times uh, in the rear one of which was Lando Norris as well as Carlos Sainz and also um, an Aston Martin of Lance Stroll who has a big ol' whack with us. This has been the hardest fought battle all race. Now Alcon and Vettel are going to be going wheel to wheel around the outside goes the Alpine but the Aston Martin just manages to stay ahead. Oh, and he's crashed. And Sebastian Vettel is out of the race. Vettel is out of the race, and there's more contact and sliding off the road. And now this race is the is Nicholas Latifi as well as um, that is Yuki Sonoda out of the race, and it is a red flag. And for the second time this season, we end under a red flag, and that is the onboard from Nichols, the TV. He just ran straight into the barrier and slid across the track, and that's a pretty hefty whack into the barrier, and you can see just how far he slid with two tires missing. And here is on board with George Russell. He did the same exact thing as his teammate did. Russell, though, is not out of the race. Here's on board with Yuki Sonoda. He couldn't really get through. He would have been out of the race anyway. He would have ran into Latifi, so it's kind of unfortunate for him. And you can see on board with Vettel, we just kind of lost the rear and slid straight into him. Vettel out of the race, and that means that Max Verstappen will win the race under the red flag. He will enter the pit lane, so will everybody else, and there's a replay of, look at how much debris there is. Eaten up by Sergio Perez, and Bossas has gotten ahead of Lewis Hamilton from third on the grid. That's a superstar. We already wheel to wheel with Lando Norris going into turn three, and there's a crash, and that's a big one. Multiple cars in the wall, including us. We are into the barriers, but fortunately for us, we can get back going again, and other drivers all over the road, and that was a big crash, and Antonio Giovinazzi has beached his car as well. He is out of the race, and he has been eliminated as well. Let's see, going into the braking zone, and we completely outbreak ourselves. We try to get out of the way, but by that point, Lando Norris was wheel to wheel with us. And let's see Lando's view. As you can hear, Lando Norris absolutely gunned it, and that certainly didn't help, but that was certainly our fault, as there's just nowhere to go for us, and we outbraked ourselves. So, and here's the onboard from the Aston Martin, and very back going again. And look at this Esteban Ocon has not got back going again. And that is the Aston Martin as well in the safety car, as well as about 18 other drivers have all been held up now. And that is Nikita Mazepin. As you can see, the McLaren's front wing flying off. Here we come into the picture. And it is telling us that we can overtake every single car. And we will be into what is the lead of the race. And we are waiting for the confirmation that we can overtake the safety car. We're waiting waiting and there it is we have got confirmation that we can and we are allowed to overtake the safety car and we have gotten past absolutely everyone so has Nikita Mazepin and it's so let's see what happened to Kimi Raikkonen and he just runs straight into the back of the Williams and here is uh Lando Norris who got caught up in the first lap accident now he's out of the race 
as we come up to the accident again look at the debris and here's what happened as you can see runs straight into the back of george russell and george russell reversed straight into the back of him here's the view from russell absolutely no chance as we turn into the corner and that is nicholas atifi also going for a move on lat straw oh, and there's contact and that's a massive crash and there's multiple cars off we're off uh, George Russell is off, Nicholas Sativi off, Sebastian Vettel, and Vettel is out of the race. You can see that wheel has come loose off Vettel's car. He is out of the race as well. Giovinazzi is involved as well. Or, sorry, Kimi Raikkonen involved. And that was a massive crash, as you can see, Vettel out of the race. And unsurprisingly, it is a red flag, so we won't even get to finish here in Spa. Let's see the replay, as you can see, on board with Nikita Mazepin contact there and Mazepin just makes a little bit of contact with Kimi Raikkonen and G um, and uh, George Russell comes bowling in and hits the rear of Kimi Raikkonen as well here's another view as you can see Kimi went for that move and you can see tagged us and there he gets tagged again by George Russell who comes steaming in uh, completely unawares of what's happening on board you can see that's a very opportunistic uh move there as we went a little bit wide and you can see a big hit in the rear of that car he may need a gearbox change as you can see are on board as we made contact with vettel and uh, as we said earlier vettel out of the race here's his on board as you can see he was the first of the uh, really big crash there as his wheel comes loose he is out of the race and this means that it will be Daniel Ricciardo who will win the Belgian Grand Prix uh, for season one. And you can see another angle there. And Nicholas Latifi, a complete bystander in this. Just